Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hey, Arthur! Yeah, Bill? What's up, man? You need to have a chat? What you, uh, what you doing over here? What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. <clears throat> Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. And with that, hello everyone Mr. and welcome Morgan. back. Or Stephen plays Red Dead Redemption hey, too. Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan then? Oh, we're going to send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just going to rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Follow me. It's kind of glossed over a little bit that Thomas Downs died, but that was, I believe that was the really sickly guy that uh, I really had a hard time punching. In front of you. After you. Really didn't like that. That was a while back, but um, things have moved on since then. I guess we'll have to be collecting the debt from his wife. Tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of 
punch-ups, dealt with some old driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, Rob Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's gotta keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. It takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So what's going on with these two families? The Grays and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. That'll have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Hmm. A lot of conversation, which I really appreciate. Sure. But I'm real worried to be here. It, the fact that Bill was so positive about all of this is, like, freaking me out. Really freaking me out. So things could go awry. Things could be fine. I'm just not going to talk to anybody. I'm just going to mosey on in, do what I'm told, and try to remember to put a bandana on at some point. I actually bought an executioner hood from a fence, but I don't think I have it on me. I think I have to equip it like as part of a outfit. I'm not Good sure. Morning. Hello. How are you? Everyone's being nice. Real friendly. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Hi, hi Lenny. A little, little close. Yeah? Go to work. Of course. All right. Keep it cool and follow me, fellas. Sorry, I was just running. You guys are faster than I am. Been skipping leg day. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh... Let's go with lost girl. So which one? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if 
you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, nah, hold on. Wait till she's got him real dead. Would you care to? I'm with child, and it's. My God, Karen. I want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn right, go. hands up! Go. Oh, I automatically put it. Oh, that's good. Also, I didn't bring anything. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody move! Get a word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! It's weird, because it's like a GTA 5 heist, Turn but off. long time ago. Let me go ahead and open this up. Oh, oh you think we're here? Oh, 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 open the goddamn ball! Oh, oh, open it! Oh, oh. Play it cool, buddy. Too slow. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on. Okay. Okay. Get a move on. I don't think beating him's gonna cause it to go faster. Too goddamn uh. slow. But I do want him to know I'm serious. Uh. Dude, come on! Shut up, bitch! Hurry up! Come on! There's no okay. way it's this complicated. Are you serious? Shut up, bitch! Hurry up! I'm in! Someone come make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you uh, better be quick. <laughs> You shut the hell up and stay still! As you rotate the safe dial, rotation on will slow down the number of yards to go. What? Oh my god. Hey, keep still. If I see that leg move again, you get a bullet in it. Oh my god. Maybe I should've just blown this up, man. This is gonna well, take too long. Oh, Jesus. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along! Hurry up in there! How are you getting off? Going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Yeah, we're gonna run out of time. Please, let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Oh. Shut the hell Starting up, to get the hang of this. Are. This is the first time I've ever had to do this. I don't know how many of these we're going to be able to get. I'm expecting not a ton, man. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Come on, let's get lucky on this third one. We're going to have a lot of people on us soon. Ooh. 
I'm assuming that this mission's kind of like on a timer or something, so you have a certain amount of time if you do it this way. And I'm starting to wonder if I should have just went the dynamite route. Blow it all up, take it, and then just run. That's three. It's already more than I thought I'd get. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Yeah, I don't want to push this. I was wondering if they were going to start giving me the option to leave. Come on, baby. Let's get this last one and get out of here. Forget the fifth one. It's not worth it. Last one. Good. We gotta move. Are you saying I should go for the last one? Ah, screw it. Un completionist, baby. Let's do this thing. Get that money. Oh, that first one came fast. Come on, Arthur. Is it? Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Oh my God! I'm starting. To, I'm starting to get sweaty. I'm like, oh Jesus! I don't want the entire freaking everyone on us. But they don't even really know we're here. And I managed to get it all. All right, Jesus! All right, we gotta get out of here. That's a that's a ton of money. And we did it quietly. This can't go this smooth, man. This cannot go this smoothly. I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? I actually got honor for that because I guess I didn't like kill anybody, which is wild. If this goes this smoothly, I am going to be so surprised. The only thing I want right now is to get on my, my puny little horse and get out of here. Shit. And look, look, over there! Yep, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Time to get out of here. Dead or alive! Now let's get the hell out of this goddamn town! I cannot believe we came back to Valentine! <laughs> This is where Sally died! <laughs> Am I leading the way now? Oh. I just went around. I'm assuming that everyone's capable of getting out on their own. Follow me, guys. Somehow, emoji. A horse that's three feet tall is beating everyone else. I'm very surprised by this. Return to Bill. Return to Bill needs to get a move on. That's what Bill needs to do. Listen, man, we're escaping. It's working. Keep riding. That's also a lawman. Follow me. Will you follow me? No, you're going your own way. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I need to stay with them, but I'm not, like, I'm trying not to shoot people to, because I, I know it's going to, like, increase. Okay, but well, I'm also not willing to die. Sorry. It's going to increase my eventual bounty, but hopefully I'll have enough money to pay for it, right? Is that the goal? Let me turn myself around here. You can go your own way! Go your own way! Alright, let's go! They're still coming! Good shot. I think we're kinda in the clear. Things are looking pretty good right now. Oh, don't tell me that. 
Ah! Terrible flashbacks to Sally! I think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp, and make sure you ain't followed! <sighs> okay. This is Downs. Ride to Downs Ranch. I was gonna say, it was like, we have enough time to... You know, to take care of that. We should go take care of that, and that's, uh... How far away is that, Downs Ranch, from where I currently am? Uh, not, not too far. Um, I have a five, five dollar bounty. Five dollars. That's it. Five bucks. Are you kidding me? That's basically no money. Took a little bit. But here I am. Hello! Mrs. My husband's Downs? not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Moments like this that I'm reminded that like I'm I'm a bad guy. <laughs> like everything that transpired, like and I know that, you know, Arthur's doing the work of the gang. And there's some good in there, but you know, I'm I am, you know, a villain. You know, I'm a dying breed in this new this new era. It's also really interesting how cinematic they've chosen to make this moment be and how they forced you to go do it immediately after finishing the uh the mission for bill but we took care of it twenty thousand dollars gang share ten thousand your share twenty five hundred oh dear god oh we have dollars Oh, we have so many dollars. That is an astounding number of dollars. Maybe enough dollars to help. Is that Bill? Who is literally spinning in circles? His head was spinning a little bit too. Bill, I, I don't know how we're going to get the help for you, but I know with $2,500 we can, we can find you some assistance, man. Because it looks serious. It looks very serious. Just rest assured, Bill. We, we're going to get you the help you need, buddy. We're going to get you the help you need. You did good. Valentine? Told you it'd be a good score. Yep, you were right. Well, I should get back to it. All right. Poor man. We'll get him the help he needs. Anyway, uh... <laughs> I think that was a memorable moment. Uh, we're uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, actually end it here, but uh, I'm going to end it by looking at some uh, journal entries. 
If you're not into that, go ahead and head on out now. But there's not that many that we've uh, that we missed, so I'm just gonna head back now and figure out where we were. Saw Albert again, bored of fighting animals. He tried to fight gravity. Again, he somehow survived. I hope he will now retire from a life even more idiotic and dangerous than mine. Got a little draw in there. Met an awful fellow who will send me money if I send him fish so he can send others the fish pretending he caught them so they can pretend they caught them while out fishing with him. At least I think that's it. Either way, the man, Jeremiah Gill, was dreadful. Agreed. Oh, Lord. Deputy Sheriff, finally, we have achieved a state of true insanity. For the first time in my life, I'm a deputized lawman. We went off with some moronic dupe deputy working for the alcoholic drenched Sheriff Gray, pursuing some moonshiners. Dutch is convinced this will somehow lead to riches beyond compare. Seems the one powerful local family, the Grays, ex-Scots, is warring with another proud English family, the Braithwaites, like some long-running dispute from the border country. Apparently there's gold or women or something at the root of this, and if it's gold, we want it. Either way, we're so deep in the swamp and so entirely lost ourselves, I hope it will take the Pinkertons and their like a long while to find us. We shall see. In the meantime, a new career path in law seems to wait. Uh, seems like amongst our other perils, a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders won't take too kindly to outsiders or anyone who ain't living in the distant past. Oh, that's beautiful. It's interesting, um, you know, living in the South, living in South Carolina, uh, there's plantations that are still around, that still look like this. I've actually featured um, at least one or two, I'm sure, on the vlog before. And uh, it's wild to, you know, you're, you're riding through in the game in 1880, uh, 1899, but there's places that still look like this, that have this, this long grove of trees in the, in the road. Moonshine. I've met some charming women in my time. Catherine Braithwaite, the mother hen to that particular bunch of roosters, ain't one of them. My, a sour old jug of piss and bullshit I ain't never met. Even Hosea's charms were lost upon her. She refused our offer of selling her back or shine and instead got us to give it away to annoy the saloon owners in town. Hosea put on quite a show until we got interrupted by the bastards we robbed when grabbing the stuff. We just about escaped. On the other hand, I met this poor bastard gray boy, Bo. How's it going? And his forbidden love, Miss Penelope. Quite the most alive creature we have met down here. Suddenly, I'm marching as a suffragette. The looks of loathing on the faces of the locals delighted me, while their leader, Mrs. Calhoun, amused me. I don't know much about good causes, nor the joys of democracy, but I enjoyed my little experience riding alongside them. The world is certainly changing fast. You know, it's you don't always get the full feel of what... God, he's still there. Jesus. You, you, don't, you don't always get the full feel of... Uh, of Arthur's writings, when you just read the text, you have to kind of like look at how he wrote it. Like he underlined fast. It's just a cool little detail. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Stephen Plays Red Dead Redemption 2.